feel like as soon as I turn this camera on, the rain outside has got a hundred times louder. So I'm not even sure if this video is going to be audible. It's really heavy. I'll give it a shot, right? I mean, I'm here now. <laughs> I just figured I would take a little study break. I'm actually really choked with the cold and not feeling great. So forgive me if my voice begins to go, but I really wanted to do the autumn book tag or autumn reading tag which was started by Amy Jane Smith who's absolutely fabulous if you haven't checked out her channel it will of course be linked down below and I would highly recommend that you do so. Now I don't think I've actually been tagged in this tag but I do feel like I'm the last person on booktube to do it because it's been in my subscription feeds for weeks now and I really enjoy watching it so I wanted to do it regardless of whether I'd been tagged or not. If you did tag me in it and I've just completely blanked please forgive me. Like I said, cold addled my brain. Uh, but without further ado, let's just get into the questions, shall we? So question number one is, are there any books that you plan on reading during the autumn season? Well, now it's actually midway through October, so I'm kind of doing this video <laughs> halfway through the season. I have the rest of this month in November though, which is still quite a lot. So the books I do have on my immediate TBR include 100 Nights of Hero by Isabel Greenberg, which I'm actually halfway through at the moment, and absolutely in love with. If you can't tell, this one is a graphic novel. On my Kindle I have Benefits by Zoe Fairbairns, which is one of my mum's all-time favourite books and I really wanted to get around to it. It is a future dystopian book which was written a couple of decades ago and according to my mother is not too far off the way some things have gone. I think it deals with lots of contemporary social issues including the treatment of women and the working classes so really keen to get to that one ASAP. Like I mentioned in my most recent haul as well I'm really excited to read Let Them Eat Chaos by Kate Tempest which is one long continuous poem that Kate Tempest wrote and came out really recently and I adore Kate Tempest if you haven't heard already so can't wait for this one. For non-fiction I have three books I really want to get to Asata Shakur's autobiography which is obviously the autobiography of Asata Shakur who was on the FBI's most wanted list for a long time and she was a black rights activist in America so this one. And for November the book club read is Redefining Realness by Janet Mock which is all about Janet Mock's journey as a trans woman and her work as a trans rights activist. Of course there are quite a few other books that are currently on my TBR but those are the ones that I am absolutely certain I will be reading in autumn. The next few questions are all about specific months. So the first one is about September and the question is as September reminds you of returning back to school Although I'm pretty sure in Scotland we went back to school in August. Not that that really matters, but September reminds you of being back at school at least. And the question is what is a book you really enjoyed studying at school and what were your favourite and least favourite subjects? So at school, there were quite a few books from English at school that I actually really enjoyed. Strangely enough, because I know people tend to associate books they read at school with quite negative feelings. but. I enjoyed quite a few. One of the ones that always stands out to me though was Sunset Song by Lewis Grassett Gibbon. This is a Scottish classic and I think I was around 15 when we read it at school. That is a really rough guess <laughs> but you know I was high school age and I adored this story. It is so so moving and engaging and has a really powerful relatable protagonist. It's all about Chris who lives in the Scottish Highlands and it's about her growing up and deciding whether she wants to remain um, living on a farm and working on the farm for the rest of her life or move to the city. And it's just absolutely spectacular. I would recommend it to everyone. It's set sort of before, during and after the First World War. For favourite and least favourite subjects, I mean naturally one of my favourites was English. I loved English. I also really enjoyed drama. I really enjoyed RMPS, which was Religious, Moral and Philosophical Studies. And sometimes I enjoyed history. I enjoyed the study of history. I can't say I enjoyed all of the sections of history that we studied. There was a massive focus at my school on Scottish history. And once you've done a standard grade, a higher and advanced higher in history, and you feel like you keep covering the same two centuries of Scottish history, it starts to get a little bit irritating. But generally speaking, I enjoyed history. I didn't really enjoy art which surprises me actually but I just by the time I was studying it 
um, at 16, 17 I would really not want, I did not want to be there. I was also just really bad at maths and physics. The next question is all about November and it's playing on the theme of Guy Fawkes Night or Fireworks Night and uh, all of the explosions and excitement and sparkles <laughs> and the question is what is the most exciting book you've read? So I'm going to go for this year particularly because I've read a lot of exciting books. I'm going to go for two. Uh, one of them is I Am Malala which just sticks out to me as a book I recently read that had me absolutely absorbed, hooked in it, could not put it down, did not want it to end, but also wanted to get to the end. All of those feelings you really want from a book. And although it was really upsetting and hard to read in some places, it was also really empowering and inspiring. And I think that's pretty exciting. So that one certainly. And actually, something else I really enjoyed recently, which I would consider quite an exciting read, because they're quite fast-paced and have you really enthralled, was a reread of the Hunger Games trilogy. I said it. They're just awesome. Next question is, what is your cosy comfort read? Now, I'm a actually... Now I'm actually quite a big rereader. I love rereading books and I think of Cozy Comfort Reads as very much being rereads because they're books that I like to go back to and, and make me feel safe and warm and part of their world. And yeah, there's quite a few that would fit that bill, but one that particularly stands out, I would say, are the Sherlock Holmes mysteries. I think they particularly stand out to me when you say the words Cozy Comfort Reads because I think of kind of tweed suits and sitting by the fire and Sherlock Holmes smoking his pipe and solving mysteries and chatting with Dr Watson and I think mysteries in a way have quite an association with that cosy comfort uh, read so I would definitely say those and I always always adore returning to those stories and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's prose always make me feel really comforted and at home. Question number six is you're curled up with a good book what is your favourite hot drink? Well my favourite hot drink is coffee. I love coffee just <laughs> what more can I say definitely one of those people that's a bit of a coffee addict but if I'm thinking of a time when I'm curled up reading a book, it makes me think of the evening, so I wouldn't really be drinking uh, proper coffee. I would either be drinking a decaf coffee or a peppermint tea. I love peppermint tea as well. And question number seven is quite simply, are there any plans that you're looking forward to in the next few months? So I'm going to keep my answer restricted to within the autumn period, so the next month and a half. I'll, let, I'll get my diary and tell you, Willa. Well, next week, I am having dinner with Taylor, which I'm very excited to. She's coming down to London, so I'm going to see her one evening. And I'm having breakfast with Jen and Lauren and Lena, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to be spending time with some friends from uni on Guy Fox night, in fact, so that'll be lovely. Uh, Monica from She Might Be Monica is visiting London, so I'm going to see her, hopefully, if all goes to plan. I've not got any massive, huge events planned, but seeing my friends is always a nice treat, so I think those... <laughs> <laughs> fit into that question. But that brings us to the end of this tag. Sorry if I've been a little bit low energy. Um, my throat is really sore. So I'm going to go back to doing my uni work, but it was nice to uh, have a little break and talk with you all. <laughs> I'll have, I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun responding to you in the comments if you would like to answer these questions in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your answers and if you just have anything else you'd like to chat about, please do start up a conversation and until next time guys happy reading i'll see you all again soon bye hey guys so as you can tell from the title i am here with another book haul i have acquired another seven eight books eight definitely eight